everybody. Hi, <laughs> it's Jane and I am going to play with making a pen pal envelope. So I just watched a video on this and from um, Shelly in Maui and I was so thrilled. I thought, oh, this is just the most fun thing ever. So what you do is you start out, and I've picked out some stuff already, because I made um, I tore I tore up this this um, Remnis magazine before I even read it. I just like oh no, and I I was halfway through and I realized oh this is one I've never even looked at before because these are some of the magazines I brought over from my mom's, and uh, so I was reading it as fast as I can. But anyway, um, what you do, um, what you do is you start off with squares. So I'm going to cut. You want to choose which side you want. Now this will go on the inside. This will be what shows. You want something colorful, something that's interesting to look at. This is, this is simply to recycle magazines. Now you can use any kind of magazine that you want to use. Um, I love uh, Reminisce magazine. The problem is, is there's just too many wonderful things in it on both sides. And I even hate cutting up this, this wedding picture, but it, I did, have, did save most of it. Okay, so on this one I'm going to use this because it's actually the uh, similar, it's almost the same piece, and I'm fortunately not going to lose the lady sitting at the table there. That's, uh, that is so how it was, it is so how it was. The ladies uh, coming over, uh, sitting around the kitchen table and just uh, they were all housewives back in the 50s, and they had time to do that. I, I love that picture. I'm going to save that picture. Okay, so there's two of those. And then this one is just very colorful, okay used cars. I mean, how many of us have memories from okay used cars? That I, th I thought that was a local Maybe that's from Concord. <coughs> I grew up in Concord, California. Born in Oakland. <coughs> Look at that clock. Is that just that the cutest clock? Um, I'm going to hate missing out on some of these. The clock is going to be... Let's see. If I did it this way... Yep, I would still lose half the clock. So I'm going to do it this way. If I'm going to lose anything, that's, that's, see that? That's, there's not much there. So that's the best part to lose. So we're going to cut these up and we're going to make three envelopes. And I guess you start. You kind of make a little dent there, and then you make a little dent there. Let me see if I can remember how to do this. Okay, and then you have to bring this in there, and bring the clock over there. And I want that part to show. <coughs> oh, this is much nicer. I'll make this show. And you fold that up and make a little envelope. And 
And there, there's a little envelope. And all, all you need to do, because this glue is perfect for magazines, you just need to glue Glue that, and then you've got an envelope. Now, the reason they call it Pen Pal, um, she she had a name for it. She called it Pen Pal Envelope, is because you're going to stack these. You're going to stack these envelopes, and. You're going to put them, um, uh, you're going to stuff the envelopes with the kind of uh, goodies that we always send our pen pals. Little papers, maybe a tea bag or something. So, here we go again. Here's this. That's kind of in the middle. And this. Kind of in the middle there, and then that side. Now this and that side, <clears throat> and then do I want this side or do I want? Ooh. That side's more colorful. Look at the fireman, policeman, and in engineer, I guess. Fireman, policeman, and that. Uh, oh, that is a tough one because. Yeah, I think I think our ladies would prefer that. My pen pal ladies would prefer the women seeing the dresses, seeing the dresses more than the other, because that's going to be hidden. But look, look at the dresses there. Oh, is that just so cute? Okay, <clears throat> there's, oh, I was going to say there's two, but no, I need to glue it first. So... I'm loving being able to share this with you because it's so easy and it's so nice to be able to recycle. Um, anybody else would have just thrown out the stack of magazines at my mom's, but nope, I rescued them. And I love them. And I do like to look through them and read them first and then... Um, now this is how you're gonna you're gonna you be stacking them like this, and they they don't have to be perfect. Oh, you have to leave a little bit of a space there, and then you'll flip it up. Now let's do the other one and let's see what we have here. That's the middle there. Okay. Now we'll put. The shirts from Montgomery Wards, which are 79 cents each. Can you believe that? wonder what year that was. Um, now that one doesn't have a whole lot there. But that's okay. That's okay. Now, which side do we want folded up? That one doesn't have a whole lot. Uh, this one has more on it, so I'm going to use this side. And then I'm just going to fold that over. So I probably should have tucked it up underneath it and glued, but no, it's alright. It's okay. This is a letter to a pen pal. It's not for the National Archives. And I think my pen pals will enjoy it. I have a couple. 
and I'm, you know, I'm bad at keeping up with my pen pals, except Mary. Mary I stay with pretty much, but um, I love having pen pals. Okay, now, here's our three magazines. Now what you want to do, you want to fold that down. Fold that down. And you've got three envelopes. That one we folded down. Now, in order to have a nice space to open the envelope, we can just cut that flap. Now, I can glue that flap down and make it a little more strong. Uh, she cuts them away, but I think I will glue it down just to make it, just to strengthen that a little bit. Just doubles the, yeah, there's a lot of stress on corners, I think. You wouldn't believe I was up all night long last night, and so I, I did a process, I mean, I just, actually I just did a video where I was talking to you guys, and uh, it's, it, I tried to, I mean, I, I went through it and got it all ready to send, and now it says it's up in the cloud, but it isn't up in the cloud. Um, I don't know what happened to it. I can't get to it. And it was a nice long video. Very chatty. Of course, in the words of Seinfeld, it was a video about nothing, chat about nothing. <laughs> but, you know, it's too bad I lost it. Now I'm going to glue that. I'm, did I cut that? Yeah. And I'm also, um, that's cut, and that's cut. How did those get cut already? Did I already do that? I mean, I did, of course. I'm going to also cut down here a little bit, I think, just to make it a little bit easier. Wait a minute, that wasn't the way. That wasn't what I wanted to do. I wanted to cut it the other way. Okay, well this one's going to be messed up. Okay, I'll glue those down. That's messed up. Pay no attention to what I just did there. What I wanted to do is this. I wanted to kind of come down, come up from here, and kind of trim that corner. Because I think it's the corners that get things stuck. There. That's, that's what I wanted to do. Okay, and then... But you know what? Nothing is earth shattering. If you make a mistake, you just keep going. Oh, and did you guys notice this picture? That little kitchen stove? I was so busy thinking about the dresses, I didn't point out the stove. So, okay, this is what we do now. We decide which one is the best picture that you want to see the most of, especially as far as the backs. That one's the busiest. I think I will do it this way. No, I want this to the bottom because I don't want that covered up. I 
don't want those dresses covered up even though that is upside down you know I wonder if there's a way I could fold that to make that right side up maybe I should have done it that way um, and folded this one under on this side okay we're gonna live and learn here I, I'm I, this is you you are you know I'm I'm the blind leading the blind here okay so I like the dresses and I also like the dresses on the back so that's right side up it's right side up on the back see you can see that it'll be right side up on the back so that's what I'm gonna do okay now you leave about a quarter of an inch unglued and you glue all of this and the quarter of an inch is to accommodate the stuff that you put into into the envelope If uh, Crafty Mamas is watching, she'll probably be horrified at how badly I'm doing this. But she would be nice enough not to say anything. Okay, and then we'll glue this here. And I tried to go back and look for this uh, video. It must have been one of those old videos. You know how they pop up? And it's like from two years ago. <laughs> So maybe this has been a thing for a long time, and I'm just the last one to hear about it. Now, for some reason, this envelope just seems to be folded a little bit bigger than the other, but it's okay because it still wraps up. It still wraps up and will fold over. And you're getting to see me make There we go. Now, there is our pieces. Now, this one doesn't really have too much stuff, but it does. It does have a little bit of writing. Um, so, what you what you want to do is you want to get some smaller things that you might have cut out and add it, so that there's something there that's um, that's more colorful than what because when you're using magazines and you're recycling, you're not going to have everything exactly I like leaving the, the price and I'm going to fold this over it just gives that a little bit of strength, I'm going to fold that over and then you still have the price for the dresses 77 cents each <laughs> if anybody cares to study that enough. Um, here's some hippity hops. Oh, it's on the back of the wedding picture. Oh my goodness. Let me see. Let me, well, let me cut that out. Cut out the wedding picture. And I at least have that little girl. And I can put her um, over here. Now, how is it that that one had a 77 cents and this is, oh, their shoes, a uh, dollar 25 for those children's shoes. But isn't that a sweet little picture? Hold that up. And then that picture, hold that up. Okay. Now, 
One of the things I like to do is I like to send my pen pals little things for them to um, to work with because they make their own little journals. So I will be filling this filling this up with. Let's see, that picture is crooked, so I will cut it crooked. And then try to square it up. And, uh, and then this, uh, stirring up memories, is a great little uh, phrase. And let's see, I can see the memory thing. Yeah, I think the phrase is better than the picture. Anyway, I'll put that in there. And uh, truthfully, this is all this is all you need. I'm just showing you how to make the envelope. You, I would put my my um, letter in here, or letter in the top, probably. I'll put my letter in the top, and then just add ephemera. Um, for example, um, what do I have? Uh, I know I've got some. Some pieces here. This is really beautiful paper. It's all textured, and uh, that would be nice to send. Maybe make it just a little bit smaller so it fits in there well. Put that piece in there, and. Here's another. Okay, we make it a little bit smaller there. Now, why is it both ways I'm tearing? Oh, okay. Both ways I'm tearing are showing the white. Okay, and I'll, I'll leave her a straight edge, so in case she wants to put it on the straight edge of a, of a book. And then she's got some torn edges, and it's big enough that if she wants to make it evenly, she can. And so I'll put, you know, some of that in there. And uh, I, I wonder if I even have a tea bag. Um, oh, I have this really cute... Oh, what did I do with that? I know I've got it. Okay. Here is the, uh, here's another issue of that. This is from uh, 1999, uh, this Reminisce. Uh, this is what the magazine looks like that I used. And it's just chock full of awesome, awesome, um, pictures, but there are, oh, look at that, I mean, big L, huh? Big L. <laughs> so, uh, one of the things I did notice is that I do get a glare from the, mag from, from the magazines where I'm videoing here, so let me tip it a little bit so you can be sure and see it without the glare, and uh, you don't send it like this. What you do is you take, uh, I know I saved out some pages. What did I do with them? Um, I, I, oh, here they are. I saved some of these pages. I just, it was so hard because I didn't know which side that I wanted. 
Uh, look at this. Oh, look at that. These cute Easter cards. Vintage Easter cards. I don't know if I want to use that for an envelope. This one I might use for the envelope because I, um, I have that girl. Oh, this was what was so hard. Do I cut out this and use it? Or do I use this wonderful picture with the sailors? Uh, I saved this. It's um, my mom. She did she did um, crossword puzzles. Uh, this, I think, is what I was going to use. Yes. When Sundays were funny. Um, <clears throat> you glue it, glue it together. See, this is going to fit in here and make a... Actually, you don't have to glue it together. Ooh, this barely fits. <sighs> barely, barely. Okay, you might want to fold these smaller. <laughs> like I say, this is my first time making it. This is going to be the inside of the envelope, but I probably want it on the outside. Okay. Oh, and I do love Tilly the Toiler. See there, Tilly the Toiler? Okay. Okay, there we go. And then... Do that and we fold it here and that's going to be your envelope oh I could probably fold that a little straighter couldn't I so let me try that I'm, I'm the worst about seeing if things are straight or not there that's better and then, then you do this and this. Now, you don't have to have all the flaps. You don't have to have all the flaps. So, yeah. You cut this flap off and this flap off. Cut that flap off. On both sides. And this one. Make sure you keep it even. Um, I think she glued them, but um, I love, I love the the pictures on both sides. So for my pen pal, I want her to have um, these pictures if she wants them. Well, truthfully, there's not a whole lot in there, is there? And this, in this one, um, just these bathing beauties. Okay. Cut off that. Okay, now that makes your envelope. You go this way, and then that way, and then that way, and it's not nearly as bulky. And that's the back of the envelope. And your um, and 
And this one it'll fold up like this. Oh, I need to put a nice picture right there. It'll fold up like that and you'll unfold this and unfold that and unfold that when you get it. Okay. So anyway, that will be inside. That will tuck inside. So let me glue this. And then glue it on this side. I um, I was really pleased to see this uh, Popeye cartoon. I hadn't seen uh, the old Popeye since I was a kid. Okay, now I see one thing that I want to do. Now everybody has magazines at home. I think I want to trim this. Make that a little bit easier. Trim that and trim that. Okay, now. It just slips right in and then you fold it over and you use tape uh, well I, I would glue I mean I would glue it when I'm ready to glue it and then put tape on the outside and for the front for the front I have I have labels like this and I would just put a label on there um, for the name and uh, a smaller label for that. Now you don't have to have these are sticky labels but you can just cut yourself a piece of paper, plain paper, lay it on there and then tape over it. I love this. I love this. I am thrilled. So anyway that's how you make a pen pal pocket letter. Oh, no, 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 no. It's, well, it, it actually is, but it's a pen pal cascading envelope. Just a pen pal letter. Just a pen pal letter, but these are what you would call cascading envelopes. Oh, but before we go, let me finish decorating. Do I want to use the bride? Or do I want to use the shoes? Oh, life is so hard. Why do I have to choose? Why do I have to choose? I don't know that I'm ready to choose. I think the shoes fit better. And we see the old boot there. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to choose the shoes. I hate losing the wedding. But I do like the shoes. And aren't those cute? Do you remember? I mean, I kind of remember having some shoes like that, or at least seeing other kids who had them. And you don't even have to use pages of your own magazine if you don't want to. You could, you could put anything there. You could, maybe I'll put another little picture there. Oh, oh, look at that. I cut off. There's Popeye. 
So I'll cut out Popeye and this old vintage Popeye is adorable. And then, one thing that's kind of fun, okay, see he would look strange up into the wedding, but he looks good up into the shoes. Oh, just out of curiosity, since Popeye is sitting, maybe I should have him sitting on something. Okay, let me get this out and let me look and see if there's... Should I have him sitting on the boot? What else could he be sitting on? He'd be sitting on the hot stove. I think he can be sitting on those shoes. I kind of like that. Okay, well now I'm going to have to find something else. You think he's kind of lost there? Um, I don't know. I have a feeling my pen pal will read everything she'll look at everything and oh here's olive oil <laughs> okay oh too bad she just a little bit too tall maybe she could sit on some shirts instead of sitting on that chair. Uh, now a lot of you don't like to do this fussy cutting. I, I love to do fussy cutting. Now I'm not gonna cut her too close. Oh, I might cut her a little bit closer. But I can't really in the back. Um, let me trim her shoe just a little bit there. Okay. Now. She could be sitting on, on that. Oh. Well, this does not really lend itself to sitting on things. Well, she can sit on that coin, I guess. And since they're both sitting, and you can see them both. There. Now, I wonder if I outline that. See, a lot of people think, oh, this is so much trouble. But not for me. There, instead of cutting around here, I'll just outline that a little bit. There, you can see her a little bit better. And let's outline Popeye.
there. A little bit more visible. And ties in the envelope. Oh, we miss sweet pea. Sweet pea. I always thought it was sweet pea, but I believe originally it was sweet pea. Okay, let me see here. Um, I'm still looking for... Oh, see, now I might include something like this. This, uh, uh, especially because I have all those shoes in here, this was uh, an article in the magazine. It was about shoe store fluoroscopes. Probably none of you remember these. These were in the 40s and 50s, and you used to be able to see your, your um, foot inside the shoe so you could see how well it fit. But they banned them because apparently it was dangerous. <laughs> it was like x-rays. <laughs> so, uh, so that would be a great thing to include in here. And I'm, I'm just going to leave it there and just fold it up. Instead of folding it in half, I'll just fold it in there with that. Uh, this is perfect. Oh, and isn't that cute? Look at those girls. Oh my goodness, look at their shoes. I just love that. So I'll include that, but I won't just include um, uh, nostalgic things. I'll put in fun things too. Oh, 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 oh. Remember I was looking for something for... Here, and I think I just found her. There we go. You know what I was going to make? I was going to make a, um, um, uh, hidden, um, can't even think what you call them, uh, paper clip. Kind of just, that actually clip all the way that you, things don't stick out of them. there that's 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 nice I like that actually I kind of I don't know I, I, I want to do her as a hidden paper clip let me show you what the hidden paper clips look like I made one last night that's a little owl and on the back is a paper clip and it's on, um, it's on like cardboard that, uh, uh, let's see, I cut out from the tissue box, pieces like that. I glued, I glued it and used both sides. And then when you, when you paper clip, it goes all the way to the end. It doesn't stick up. Is that just as cute as it can be? So uh, I wanted to make a paper clip out of that. So I don't want to use that to glue, but you know what? Anything cute, I would want to. So okay, I don't want to get anything stuck on there that I don't want, and that that is perfect. Okay, I'm going to use that. I'm going to use that because I've got this to make a paper clip out of. Oh, that might be good. That might be even better. Yeah, I think that might be even better. Because it's the cone of his hat sticks up there. And that might not be good for a paper clip. Not as good for a paper clip. So, problem solved. And I've lost, there it is. I've lost my glue. I want to make this a um, fairly quick video. Ooh kinds of glue there. Aha. Uh -huh. Now, do I want to leave it? I might just leave it. I don't have to trim that off to make it fit in the flap. I can just leave that. I can leave that if I want to. Oh! 
Let's put something cute here. What do I have cute for that spot? There was there was a ton of stuff. Um, I want something fairly small. There, that little soda fountain, people. This is the child that's related to these, uh, to the people who own the soda fountain. That's his, in the background is his grandmother at the counter, and that's his mom. See, I knew I saved that for a reason. I almost passed it by. Sometimes when the pictures aren't really sharp, I don't like to use them. Should I use it sideways? No, I'll use it this way. And truthfully, you don't have to use uh, pictures. You can use uh, pieces of your um, uh, trashy papers. I might even put some, um, since it's a drugstore, I might add a little candy to it. There's some candy, and I think I have another little candy I saved. I have a bunch of stuff. Um... Put, what could I put? While I'm looking at what I could put, I come across this little question mark. So I'm going to put that question mark on there. <laughs> there. Um, but I, I kind of want to make this a little more... A little more fun. I could put Little Orphan Annie. I don't like how that looks with that. Um, you know what, maybe I'll, Well, I don't really have to put anything there. I've got these little pictures here. You know what I've lost? I've lost my um, uh, corner peak, corner cutter. I know it's here. I've seen it since I've been here. So it's here somewhere. But I went to look for it last night and it was gone. Gone but not forgotten. 
Okay, there. That fills that in a little bit. Do I want another one up top? No. Um, Here's that other one that I cut out. Nope, that cuts off the lady. Okay. But if I didn't cut her off, I could put it right there. And she would be behind Georgie. I'll do that. And I think what I might do is just cut off Georgie anyway. And that. You know what? I do things spur of the moment and kind of drastic. Anyway, that gives that gives a little more interest to the inside of that. And we will have plenty of stuff. Now, let me move all this stuff out of the way. So you can actually see what I've done and what I have. Now that's a little bit of that wetting. So I'm going to I'm not going to lose that wetting. I'm going to put them right there. I could put something right here too. Something small. Ooh. There we go. Boom. I keep twisting that down and then twisting it back up. Okay, now, that is how you make a pen pal envelope, pen pal letter. A pen pal letter. It's a cascading envelope letter filled with all kinds of goodies. So I'll have fun filling that up for my pen pal and Can even yeah, I'll just fill that up for my pen pal and have have fun with that. Fill it up here, fill it up there, close it, and slide it right into the envelope and seal the envelope. How fun is that? <laughs> if you liked it, um, uh, subscribe. If you or um, just hit hit the like button. But if you subscribe, be sure and hit the little bell next to it so that it'll pop up when I have a new video out. I'm gonna try and have a couple of uh, several a week, maybe three a week. That's my goal, three a week at least, um, and maybe even more. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, um, uh, you guys take care and thank you for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. I appreciate every single one of you. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.